A Mesa woman wants her $1,300 security deposit back. She says she gave her apartment complex plenty of notice. Well, she was told she is not getting it back, so she called on your side's Gary Harper for help. This viewer says she was required to give a 60 day move out notice, and according to her, she did just that because she wanted her $1,300 security deposit returned. So why can't she get it back? Hazel Bell is still getting settled into her new Mesa apartment after moving in recently. Well, I chose to live here because it's near my family and it's nice and quiet, have nice neighbors. Before moving in, Hazel actually lived at this Phoenix apartment complex where she rented for 12 months. When her lease was coming up for renewal, Hazel says she jumped onto the apartment complex's move out portal and gave her 60 day vacate notice. She even got this automated response telling her that someone would be reaching out, but she claims no one ever did. Nobody contacted Nobody you. Nobody contacted me. No. So you submitted it again. Yeah, I just submitted it again. Nobody contacted me. So that's twice that you yeah. submitted your intent to vacate and no response. And a phone call. Thinking the portal may not be working correctly, Hazel went another route. She emailed maintenance and gave them this 60 day move out notice. It's even dated July 1st. So following her move, Hazel was surprised to get this notice indicating the complex was keeping her $1,295 security deposit because she was, quote, one month short with her notice and was outside the 60 day window. Contacted you, Gary. <laughs> Tell me why. Um, because you always get things done and you, you help get a great resolution and you're friendly. I got a hold of the property management company and asked them to look into Hazel's security deposit. They did. And after investigating, they sent me an email saying it appears the actual notice to vacate we received was on July 10th. Still, the property management company reversed its decision and say they are now mailing Hazel her $1,295 security deposit in full. Hazel says she is thrilled because she's been worried about getting that money. I was depending on that because I had used a lot of funds to move here. So I was expecting to get that back to help my living expenses going forward. All right, as they say, the check is in the mail. I'll make sure this viewer does get that check, and once she does, I'll let you know in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, on your side.